Good morning everybody, I'm frozen. Thanks for joining me. We are 18 miles outside of Parisburg, Virginia. Just met a ton of people that knew me from the shelter. That was really cool. Underdog, he's a through hiker. He'll be checking out when I get into town, seeing what he's all about. He seems like a great guy. I'll go on over to his channel and follow him. I think it was, he said it yesterday, but I think it was Underdog on the Appalachian Trail. So, I uh, have a little bit of plantar fasciitis in both my feet. Now, I have not been using the blue massage ball that I brought. I don't know why, I've just been lazy, I just thought I was kind of indestructible, but I need to get better at that, I need to make that part of my nightly routine. I'm not really even stretching anymore, and it's coming back to bite me, so gotta get a little bit better about that. So. I'm going to do a lot of work on my feet when I get to town. Look at that sky. Simply beautiful. These rocks are killing me today. Uh, they're not too bad. At least they're not the little ones. Those are the ones I hate. These ones, at least they're manageable. You know they're not going to move too much. These ones are the ones that I don't like. Because <laughs> you can't enjoy the trail, you just constantly just have to look down at your feet in order for the right placement, or else you're twisting your ankle. Oh. So I'm not really a big quote guy. I don't know, I think some quotes are just ridiculous because it's just the same regurgitated crap flipped backwards. But. The uh, Doc's Knob Shelter, which I just passed, speaking of which, that thing's awesome. It has like a deck on it. Everything's new. It had to have been recently built. Anyway, there was a quote on the shelter in the back. It says, falling down doesn't make you a failure. Staying down does. I like that. That's a good one. Frozen. Frozen. Yeah. Cool. I'm nice to meet you. Well, that is Parisburg. All right, the push to Parisburg challenge is complete. 103 miles, four and a half days. Well, it's like four days and a couple hours. It's like 2.30 right now. Anyway, gonna find the something motor in. I don't know, it's in the heart of town, and then I'm gonna make my way over to a pizza place because there's three of them in this town. People keep saying Pizza Hut, so I don't know if the other two are any good, but I'm familiar with Pizza Hut stuffed crust. Sounds pretty good to me. All right, made it into the hotel room. I don't know what is wrong with Parisburg drivers, but they really don't know how to stay in the lines. Anyway, got two medium pizzas for 12 bucks and a two liter, 13.45 or something like that. Watching Home Improvement. When was the last time you guys watched that show? <laughs> anyway, I feel great. I'm gonna go devour both of these pizzas, I think, and I'll probably be back for more later. Of course, there is a Mexican restaurant across the street. I don't know, we'll see. Go to shower, I feel fantastic. Um, the room isn't great, but it was paid for completely by a subscriber, so I just wanna say, Thank you, it's gonna be way better and way more comfortable than hearing snoring people at the Angels Rest Hostel. So I actually get some good night's sleep. Gotta upload some videos, 
and uh, we'll figure some stuff out later about what we're doing for resupply. All right, successful resupply at Food Lion, taking you guys' advice in the comments, up my protein intake, probably by two. It's <laughs> a lot of protein in here. And uh, increasing my calories. Um, not feeling sluggish or tired, except for that one day. But I think it was just because of lack of sleep. So up in the calories a little bit, like I said, but definitely increasing the protein. And we'll see how it works over the next three days. Alrighty, that wraps up a resupply in Parisburg. Uh, Wi-Fi is terrible here. Uh, 4G is non-existent, so I'm going to have to upload on the trail or else the videos are going to be late. <laughs> Just one of those things about vlogging, even delaying a week and a half. But we'll get it out to you guys to keep consistent. Um, my food bag is heavy. It, it really is heavy. I think I maybe added too many extra calories. But we'll see. Looking forward to meeting the girlfriend Friday and doing a zero on Saturday. To get to the rendezvous point on Friday, it's only an average of 17.2 miles per day, which is a lot less than what we did last week. So looking forward to just kind of taking it easy for a little bit. I'm way ahead of Togs and Ty and actually Co-op and Quinlan are in Parisburg at Angel's Rest Hostel. So be hiking around them. Uh, I think Co-op has some foot issues from what I'm hearing from Bill, so I don't know if he's hiking tomorrow or not, but anyway, I'm tired. I'm going to be heading to bed soon here. Hi, hey everybody. See you in the morning. on the trail ah the uh, 1.3 mile walk down Main Street was a lot better than walking up Main Street let me tell you <laughs> had a good night's stay stayed up a little later than I wanted to and woke up a little earlier than I wanted to but all good feeling good today got some major stretches done um, plantar fasciitis is healed up just the heels are a little sore today that's all so I'll continue to do the stretches. So the uh, the IT people in the crowd that are watching might appreciate this. I wanted to see what the heck was the problem with their their internet speed because I was only able to get one video out last night. It took all night, so for literally over 12 hours to upload 1.4 gigs of video, just one video. So I logged into their router, default password never never was touched, and there's a dude just eating up all the bandwidth with torrents it's like a peer-to-peer -peer downloading high bandwidth program so I capped them <laughs> I put it back this morning but I uh, I was I couldn't get to anything man that guy was eating up literally all the bandwidth on that router so I told the front desk about the uh, password thing this morning so hopefully they actually fix it but yeah man change your default password <laughs> The next three days before I take my zero and meet Chrissy are easy mileage, well easier. We are only talking about doing about 17 mile average a day. So I think I'm going to do like maybe 15, 16 today, a little bit more tomorrow, as much as I can tomorrow actually. And then I should see Chrissy about... Uh, she's thinking maybe th between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. So that works out well. I can get a 18-mile day in if I need to. But, yeah, should be good. I don't know what the heck I just stepped on, but it went through my shoe. Look at that. Holy crap, that almost feels like a freaking nail. Right here. Just went right through my shoe. I could feel it as soon as it did it, right? Like on my foot. Oh man, that's something metal. Holy crap. Went right through my shoe. 
Tell you what, trail's been beautiful. This is both ways, right? right. Met him down at the parking right, lot. Both ways now, I won't get the wrong yeah, go, why don't you go ahead and explain it. <laughs> okay, I'm section hiking done most of Virginia and I always do both ways. I don't hitch, I don't ride a shuttle. So I hitch out from my car, put my tent out, hike all the way halfway to the next parking lot, then I go move my car. So people see me the next day and say, hey, you're going the wrong way. And I say, I'm going both ways. So that's where I got the name both ways from. So get your minds out of the gutter, that's people. Right. <laughs> Uh, how many miles have you done total of the AT now? Uh, on the AT... Well, I guess in one direction, we'll say. I've done 400 miles of Virginia. Okay. But if you put how much I've been on it, I've been 800 miles, so I've done both ways. There you go. About 100 more miles of Virginia. Good for you. Then I'll start the other states. My goal is to finish the whole AT both ways when I get to the end. That'd be awesome. Yeah. We're going to have lunch at the shelter, or what are you doing? Let's see. I want to see what you want to do. I was going to do that, because that's in, what, 1.8? Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. Let's do that. Sounds good to me. With you. All right, man. There's your afternoon lunch view right there. Not sure which town that is, but man, is that beautiful. Anyway, it's kind of windy here. Gonna head to the shelter. It's just across the way, so we can get the stoves boiling here. All right, just had a nice lunch with both ways. He's a cool dude. He's heading back to the car, and then he'll go up a little bit more, he'll come back to this spot, and then he'll go back to the car again, and he kind of repeats the process. Doesn't have any interest in through hiking, but wants to see the trail. Speaking of the trail, <laughs> it's just beautiful today, man. Look at this day. <laughs> Holy crap. And you get three more days like this, it looks like there's gonna be rain coming in next week, which not a big deal, whatever is what it is. Honestly, I've been kind of lucky with the weather so far. Not the temperatures, just the weather in general. I do really like the uh, sign, danger, high voltage, keep off. Like, why would anyone think that <laughs> they could climb up there? Oh, God. Anyway, amazing views up here next to the power lines. So I'm looking at the elevation profile for today. And today is actually a really good day to push a few extra miles. I know, I should slow down. Uh, <laughs> so I might be doing a 19 into pine something shelter. I forget what it's called. But uh, it's mostly flat today, which is why I'm saying push today. Have a 17 mile day tomorrow and then maybe a 15 out to meet the girlfriend so that's kind of what I have in my head right now see how my feet feel towards the end of the day still got a ways to go <laughs> oh there's a lot of them look at that holy cow it's a ton of them what's up you guys see any water around here huh Nothing? Alright. Oh, I'm losing. I'm talking to wildlife. So I was just thinking about shoes. And these shoes will have about 430, 40 miles on them by Friday. I'd like to swap them out sometime between 500 and 600 miles. But Chrissy's actually bringing down my normal size. It's like I've been saying, I think these are just a tad too big. Uh, when I first tried these on, I think the Lone Peak Fours just made my foot swell so much. And after the swelling went down, these started to feel like clown shoes, so I've been walking over 400 miles in like oversized shoes and still don't have any blisters, which is insane. Oh, that's one good thing about my feet. I don't really get blisters anymore. I get weird calluses, but that's about it. Uh, which, uh, shaving those down every time I'm in town, they're almost gone, so that's what I needed to do there. But uh, yeah, normal size shoes, I'm hoping fit. Uh, and if so, 
I'll probably keep these until I get close to Katahdin and maybe end in these. This yeah, should be about right. Uh, I also have a free pair of shoes coming from Altra, but I gotta figure out what size I need first. Okay. I'm at kind of the campsite area I was shooting for for today. Feeling pretty good, so I'm gonna push the extra four miles it is to Pine Swamp whatever shelter. <laughs> Most of it's downhill too. It's just another little climb and then downhill. Uh, it is quarter to five. So it shouldn't be an issue with time. Should be able to do four miles before seven o'clock. And that's gonna make the next two days a pair of 16s, which is gonna be great. Cause that's like get to camp at three o'clock and just veg out and chill. Maybe I can record a podcast for the trek. I've got a couple more assignments I need to do. Allegheny Trail, 330 miles long, runs south from the Mason-Dixon to the Appalachian Trail in Monroe County, West Virginia. That's interesting. That might be something I'll try to tackle someday. All right, made it to camp. Did about 20 miles with all the road walking we did to get back down to the trailhead, but <laughs> it'll make for two more easy days and then a zero. I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, I had to get a little creative with the... Uh, the tarp, this whole side, just completely rocks. So I just went to these two trees over here. And we're all good. Gonna have a good night. Anyway, I'm pretty beat. Wasn't planning on doing that mileage. I would have left a little bit earlier, but gonna have a good quiet night. See you in the morning, everybody.